Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators 3D. In today's video, we'll see how to create custom subscribe button animation in completely in Filmora. But before starting this video, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora or if you don't have the Filmora software, then you can download that from the link in the description below. And if you are new to this channel and want to support the channel, then you can subscribe to our channel and follow for more Filmora related tutorials. So let's get started with the tutorial as you can see the first step of this tutorial is inside Canva. So first we will be designing the um, graphics that we need for that subscribe button animation. So the, the camera is completely free online uh, photo editing and graphic designing tool. So you can go to canva.com. The link will be in the description below and the dimension that I am using is a thumbnail YouTube thumbnail dimension which is 1280 x 720p. So you can go with that and here I will go into elements and uh, let it load and here I will be under shapes I will be using this uh, uh, what do you say kind of uh, curved uh, rectangle so let me just decrease the size of this decrease a little bit let me increase this uh, so this is the main uh, structure that we are designing over here so let me just center it so this is the structure you can increase the size as you want or you can decrease it as per your wish and the second thing that we'll be using is uh, we'll be using frames in frames we'll be using a circular frame this one so just click on it drag it down to the size of the circular frame so inside this will come the uh, logo of your uh, youtube channel or whatever you want to add so i will go into upload so i've already uploaded uh, my custom youtube channel uh, creators theory youtube channel and i will drag this inside this so as you can see inside the frame this directly has been added so let me just place this i will decrease the size a little bit and I will center it so as you can see the automatically the lines come in and it automatically centers it so make sure it is in the center so I've added the logo now let me write the name I will go into text and here I will add this I'll just click on this and it will automatically add and here I will write creators theory I will decrease this according to my liking I will decrease it more but I will be using a more subtle uh, yes. you know in regular okay yeah I think this is much better so let me just decrease this a little bit more So I'll see if uh, all capital, yeah, I like all capital. I will add this, center it over here. Let me decrease this a little bit more. I'm just fine tuning this so you can do the same so let I will just duplicate this and here below I will add uh, the tagline I'll just remove this and I will remove bold and I will decrease it to 16 let's see if 16 looks good yes still it is bold yeah now it looks good just place it over here So that's our placing over here. Now we will create a subscribe button. So I will what I will do, I will click on this rectangle again. I will duplicate this. Now I will decrease the size of this one. 
so that we can use this only as subscribe button I will add it over here in the line and I will change the color to red so as you can see this is red color I will duplicate this text here is a duplicate button over here in the top right corner and I will write subscribe Okay, this looks good. I will change the subscribe text to white. Now, yeah, this looks good. And I will change this text to white as well. So as you can see, that's why I didn't change till the end so that I can get the perspective. Now, since you have got the perspective, this is how it will look. Now, what you need to do, you need to go into download over here in the top right corner. And here you need to set a transparent background so i am using canva pro account you can use a trial version of the canva pro and you will get this option uh, it's completely free if you are using the trial version and you can cancel the pro version after that after the trial period so i will just download it and we'll go into the second part and we'll be working in film or inside that so see you in the second part so guys welcome to the second part of this video so now that we have already have imported all the media in the bin and have imported the uh, the graphic design the graphic for the subscribe button that we made in canva so i will first what i will do i will go into sample colors and here i will drag a green screen oh. uh, so i will use the green screen and as you can see so it is in the bottom most layer so make sure it is at the bottom most layer and above that we will add all our media now go back to the folders now we'll bring the animation that we created so this is the animation uh, so i will make sure as you can see okay this is five second okay so what we'll do we the first animation is we want this to come from below and uh, then the arrow should come and click on it so i will take it a few frames ahead where i want it above and here i will double click or i will just uh, right click or double click and here you will get add keyframe option so just click on add and go back to the first frame and here what you will do you will just select this and place it downward so as you can see a keyframe has been selected an animation has been created if you play this you can see a smooth animation so this is the first step so the next step is that when you this first animation finish after that we need to add the arrow or the mouse click whatever you want to call it so i will decrease this uh, arrow size and we are using an arrow png and uh, click uh, uh, mouse click uh, sound effect so both this uh, link to both this item will be in the description below you can directly download it these are completely free and uh, you can use it in your projects so as you can see this is the arrow size so i will place the arrow over here i want to really decrease the little bit so this is the perfect i think so what i will do again over here i will move a few frames ahead over here let me keep it over here yeah and i will again double click on it and click on add keyframes again i will go to the first frame of this arrow and here what i will do i will move it behind this side so as you can see if you move ahead you can see the arrow coming so next what we will do we need to clear, uh, animate click so what we will do we will go a few frames ahead and here is as you can see uh, this is the animation board so here make uh, the scale as 90 so as you can see the scale has been decreased to 90 and then make it again go few frames ahead and make it again to 100 so now let's just see how it happens from the complete so as you can see the keyframe happened if you want to increase the time you can just increase it by selecting this just increase this a little bit so that's the click animation 
and uh, once we are done with this so the start has been the start animation has been designed click along with the click now we'll go at the last frame over here and here i will i will add an animation over here click on add animation and then i will go to the last frame and here what i will do i will move it outside so as you can see a keyframe has been created similarly i will do it for this animation as well i will go into the last frame click on add animation and i will go ahead to the last frame and i will move this down so as you can see the animation has been created over here so let me just play this the click has been animated and then after some time it will go down so you can uh, select the amount of time that you want this and uh, while we are using green screen so what we will do we will export this uh, video that we have created and then we will uh, again import this and we will use the chroma key effect to remove the green screen if you are looking how to remove the green screen we have already created multiple videos i will uh, link them in the top right corner so you can click that by in the top right corner right now so that's it guys with the custom subscribe button animation in filmora so earlier this animation was only possible in premiere pro or final cut pro but now we are because of the keyframe addition into filmora 10 we're able to do that do that so that's it from my side if you guys like this video then do hit the thumbs up and if you like this channel then subscribe to our channel for more filmora related updates see you guys in another video till then see ya